Hello everybody, Morgan Gecko here. We're on Planet Cyrene and uh, we're going to go through the Zen Turcano Sightmaster mission. It's a kind of a long one. It's not necessarily easy to find. But uh, it's, if you're interested in regeneration skills, uh, bioregenesis specifically is uh, the skill that you will receive in the end. Uh, it's good for resurrection chips. It's sort of a specialized thing, but I'm sure that uh, if you have it, there's some bleed over. I don't know. But anyway, we are at the Zentercano Border Teleporter. And also, before we start, I really appreciate each and every one of you f uh, for checking in on on my videos. I really do appreciate it. You're very important to me. Subscribe and like, and I'll be a happy guy. So anyway, let's get going on this. Uh, there's the service center down there. This is the first level to the northeast. We're going to go on around here up to the second level. And we're going to come to this guy over here. This is the man that we want to see. Zen Psych Master Atenten. I don't know how you pronounce that. A T E N apostrophe T E N. I don't speak Zen, so. And just as a guide, they have this little thing set up for us. I need to back away. There we go. That. I don't know if you can read that very well on the screen, but. Since you're in game, you can come over and check it out for a real explanation. You're encouraged to go to the Siren Dreams uh, web page and under the missions, look up the Zen Takano Psych Master mission, and it'll show you a picture of this thing here and then below that it will have a reasonably detailed explanation of what it is that you have to do. Uh, for rank one you will be required to collect physically collect 5k sweat uh, there is a counter, so you personally have to collect the 5K. You have to turn in 10K. You don't have to collect the other five. You can buy that, or if you all already have it, then uh, you know you can throw the extra five in there. Turn it in to the gentleman to my right and he will give you 0.98 ped of sweat gathering skill that's over and above all of the <coughs> all of uh, the gathering skill that you acquired when you were out getting that 5k there's also a trade offer uh, turn in 12 Z Zorn component A's 
and you'll get 0 0.01 pet of concentration skill. I don't know if that part of it's actually worth it or not. I don't know if it's required to move on, but that might just be a little side deal. That takes us to rank two. For rank two, you have to collect 10k sweat and turn in 20. So that means physically sweat out 20 bottles and then somewhere along, uh, I mean, sweat out 10 bo 10k bottles and then come up with an additional 10k to turn in 20k and it will give you 2.05 pet of sweat gathering skill. They also have a trade offer on this one. Uh, turn in 18 muscle oil compound bees and you'll get biology skill. Uh, I don't know if you have to do this to be eligible for this other thing, but uh, as a little side thing here, you are entitled to go see the Zen Summoner for what they call Worm Roulette. Worm Roulette uh, is a deal where you see the summoner, summoner, you give him 20 muscle oil compound B or 20 Zorn oil mixture C or 20 Zorn compound A and he will summon for the B material he will summon a frozen jelly worm for the C material he will summon an impacted jelly worm and for the A material he will summon a burnt jelly worm and these I, I believe are either level 7 or level 9 they're not particularly tough and you can return every day to do this and uh, for turning in the material that he requests you will receive you will receive bioregenesis skill that takes us to rank three. In rank three, you collect 20k sweat and turn in 40k. And when you turn in that 40k, you get four ped of sweat gathering skill as the little side offer if you turn in eight eight Zorn oil mixture C's you'll get bioregenesis skill then we move on to rank four and uh, in rank four you collect 40k sweat and you turn in 80 and that will you, you, you turn in the 80k and uh, you will receive a v voucher to get a synchronization chip one and you 
take that voucher to the Zen Art Trader and you're able to get your chip there. Also, it unlocks this thing over here where you go see this other summoner and he's going to ask you for 10 muscle oil compound bees and 10 zorn oil muscle C's and 10 zorn component A's. You hand him those he will summon a level 50 Skywraith. And uh, everybody tells me you don't have to be an Uber, but you got to be pretty close. I mean, this is a level 50 mob and they tell me it hits hard and if it crits you if you don't have really good armor and a really good fap or a really good fapper uh, you stand a good chance of dying if you die you don't get the skill uh, or I should say should you <coughs> excuse me should you kill it you receive bio regenesis skill more than you would from the other guy because it's a much harder mob uh, if you die you don't get the skill however you may or may not be able to revive, run back over, and try to finish off the mob and get whatever loot it happens to have. Uh, not having done it myself, not ha having had, had the opportunity to speak to anybody that's ever done it, uh, I don't know. But I am considering taking a hit for the team and coming up with the mats. And I will sacrifice myself to face the Sky Wraith. I'll also get the mats to show you what it is like to uh, spin the worm roulette wheel but it's easy I think most anybody can do it and the the explanation in Sirene Dreams does not say that up here with the worm roulette if you die you don't get the skill it's not as much skill as it is down here but so odds are that if you die and you're able to come back and kill the worm you still get the skill so anyway that's the explanation of it kind of a long one so sorry about that But, uh, first we'll stop over here and I'll show you what the chip looks like. Although, you know, it's a chip. There it is right there. Uh, concentration period is 4.2 seconds. Uh, you lose the concentration if you move the required level uh, it says that you need telepath skill but 
it also says that it requires a level zero. So I don't quite understand that. I happen to have a 9.4, so I'm good, but still. You have to have the telepath skill, I guess, but a level 0, 0.0 is sufficient. It requires mind essence. Uh, it uses 180 mind essence per click. Durability is very good. You can use it 12 times a minute. It has a range of 8 meters. So, if you're going to be fapping somebody, you can hit them with the synchronization chip first. And then proceed to... Uh, Stand by with your fap, you know, to heal them whenever they need it. The success rate is excellent, and it says effects when used increase synchronization by 0.19 for five minutes. So you you uh, synchronize yourself, and then you can sweat for five minutes and the the uh, mob that you're sweating will have a reduced negative influence on you. So now, come on, let's go. Why am we not moving? Oh, I know why, there we go. In order to get there, we're going to go up to this third level. It's easier to run around the front. Our landmark is that lookout tower. And then you can't see it right now, but there's a big old tree right there. We're going to go out here and uh, we're going to run, we're going to run, we're going to run. Again, I'd, I'd like to thank you all for watching. For checking in on me every once in a while. Hit that like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be a happy camper. So for the low level. You come over here to low level send summoner Rohit. And he'll ask you for one of those three things and you give it to him and he'll summon the jelly worm right in there. If you want to go for the sky wraith you come over here to high levels in summoner all eats and you can give him the three types of material and he will summon the level 50 sky wraith again right there and uh, with any luck you'll survive and you will receive the bioregenesis skill you'll also receive the bio some bioregenesis skill from this other gentleman over here so that is the Zen Turcano whatever the name of this thing is. I, I took away my other screen, so I I don't remember the name. Anyway, uh, it's the sort of thing that you can
hit the mission and then in your idle times when you're sweating assuming that you do it like I do and you know if you're low on ped and you're spending your time sweating mobs that sweat ought to be used for something put it towards how many ever K you need for that particular level eventually you'll make it to the top and you know it, it's sort of worth it even if you just uh, summon the jelly worms although to be honest you can find those jelly worms in the wild but you're just going to get whatever skills you get from the kill of the mob and not the bioregenesis that you'll receive if you kill that mob so anyway I'll let you guys go thanks for checking in I appreciate it hope you do well in the game and we'll see you guys around y'all take care bye